Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on Playframe, and my new group of friends here. I take it you're new to the net. You're hilarious. I'm so sleepy. Very chill bunch. Very friendly. I take it you're new to the net. Anyway. I am new to the nest, and we've got a lot of stuff to do out here. People to beat at cards. Quests to take on. Dreaming of Blue Skies, the Condor Watching Society. Our beloved Condor has not graced the skies above Junon in quite some time. We worry for her welfare and wish to hire someone to prepare a culinary feast that she will find too tempting to resist. Those willing to provide assistance are invited to join us on Condor Hill. Count me in. I would love to learn more about Big Bird. Now the card player. So what all do we have here just in the crow's nest? Three card matches, including Cameron. Also, music. This, I think we should probably start with. Where are our quests going to take us, though? I need to find Toby, at, or wherever Toby's office is, and then I guess I'll have to head out to wherever that bunch is. Toby, where's your office? I seem to have lost track of you. Oh, is it up here? I don't think so. Toby, why am I not seeing you anymore? Am I not tracking the right quest? I don't think I am. No, I am. Where are you? Your office is very far from here. It's further away than the Condor Appreciators. Well, here, let me... ...mess around with music stuff and beat everyone at cards, and I'll be right there. Music must take priority. So... Uh... We'll start with you? La 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 um. la 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 Curious about this old clavier? I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I see. Obtain sheet music found at pianos around the world and add these scores to your repertoire. If you achieve an A rank in a performance, speak with Dorian, and he'll reward you with uh, for your musical prodigy. Okay. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. You're an odd one. Um, very excited to learn piano, though. Where's the best spot to put up a post, do you think? Obtained a page of sheet music on our way. Sure. Let's play the piano. <laughs> so... Press that to select the piece you would like to perform, and when performing a piece, tilt R and L in the time with the notes drifting out from the center to play both the melody and the accompanying chords. Virtuoso pianists can increase the note scroll speed for even greater challenge. Okay. Um. Here we go. On our way. Let's do this. We're aiming for almost 15,000 points. Let's see how it goes. I do like me a rhythm game. <laughs> here we go. All right. Excellent. Superb. Oh. 
Gotta watch that left hand every now and then. Goodness, Cloud. Didn't know you had it in you. Oop. Oh, missed a couple. Oh! And the metronome comes back. And the music gets less complex. If your combo breaks. That's neat. So, hey, pretty good. Got us an A. Not quite a star, but still pretty good. I'll take it. No, don't play the song. No, Cloud. No. Cloud. There we go. All done. Well, that's a fun time. So what do I win for my incredible piano skill? Would you care to share a performance with me? Maybe. Oh, nice. I get HP up materia. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Count on it. What are you... It's a weird place for you to just be, it seems like. Love seeing all the youthful passion out here, though. Glad we investigated the whole music thing. Speaking of music, I see we have a guitarist out here who needs to lose at cards. If you want to hear my tale, I'll tell you. By all means. You with an agency? Here to sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity? Weird niche of fame you've chosen for yourself. Let's play. Here goes. I got very stomped there, but partially because I <laughs> didn't know how the Shiva card worked entirely, and now I do, so definitely not using it that way anymore. Take two. Much better. My deck could definitely use refining, but it's getting the job done. God damn, dude! You legit wiped the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. 
One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Um, you're welcome, I think. Let me find some other weirdo to beat at cards. Ah, yes, you, of course. There's no game better for conducting negotiations than Queen's Blood. Because what is negotiation if not sitting down together and putting your cards on the table? I guess. Hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? I don't know if your larger mission of Shinra negotiations has any hope, but I will gladly beat you at cards, I guess. Here we go. Wow, I really had that one for a bit, and then she just, whew, swung it around real quick. Some of those cards she has are mean. Let me try again. It's fascinating. So many of her cards, like, manipulate the board in weird ways. But I... <laughs> I still came out winning this time, but, like, even once I've run out of spaces to fill that I can claim, even if I have a commanding lead, based on that first match, her cards could just erase cards I have, or strengthen her other ones, or wait, like, <laughs> who knows what had happened, but we won this time. See, that's, that's one of the ones that was real nasty. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one while this card's in play. <laughs> Some real mean tricks on that one. Educational. That was great! See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone! You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. It's a nice thought. Thanks for the game. Um, all right, as long as we're just doing cards out here, let's go ahead and take on the real challenge. Where? Okay, you're like across the way over here. Somewhere. I'll find you. Maybe in this... Oh, you're, like, underneath. Okay, hang on. I'll find you. Uh, ha ha! Found you. Is no one here brave enough to challenge me? You're hard to find. It took me a minute. Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands, as I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now, I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. Fine, then. Win this one and we'll rise in rank, though, so... Hey! Alright, let's see how it goes. Oof, just barely beaten. Gotta do better than that. Was it overkill? Yes, but... Had to reassert a little dominance there after that first very bad loss. Thanks for the card. What the... 
this is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. What is happening? Oh God, what have I done? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. Okay. Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. That's probably fine. Nothing we need worry our little head over. Cards are fun. <laughs> now then, uh, that might be all the stuff to do in here at the immediate moment. So, let's head outside and see if we can find... No, we'll head outside. People of the crow's nest! Welcome to the What's crow's up? nest! Hell yeah! Oh, hello. Lead the way, little light. Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman made it share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. Found it. Hmm. X square, X square. Around three and six. Okay. Close enough, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, Enemies. Gloves up. Rare fleet wing variant identified. Commencing Guidance Protocol. Fleet Wings are also known as Stalkers of the Skies. When hunting, they descend so rapidly that their unsuspecting prey has no time to react, let alone fight back. Get to that end, barbecuing within their territory is not advisable, unless you want to you to vanish before your very eyes. As it happens, Fleet Wings are so perfectly it's on you. to light the sky mind. that their anatomy Go has inspired several aeronautical designs. Continued research into this aerodynamic wonder will surely pave the way for humanity's flight-filled future. You'll be soaring through the clouds before you You've know got it. this. Taking over. Just know I'm cheering for you. Thank you. Assess them quick. I got your number. Hmm. Exploiting elemental weakness, which is wind. We'll pressure it. Let's see how we do. Ow. Enjoy your ride. It's your turn. I got it. So long. Don't overdo it. There we go. Excellent work completing our combat objectives. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. I'm getting better. Slowly. Anyway, not what I was here to do. Ooh. 
There's a neat structure. I don't suppose this is the lighthouse. At the top of it. Huh. Maybe it's more like just a seawall. Or part of an old fort? Huh. Or some useful stairs. Maybe just that. I do see a lighthouse now, though, so that's something. With balloons, which is not what I expected. Consider me curious. Hello. I don't know if this is a safe place. You could have just waited for us, little guy. Tacky would be an understatement. Curie. <laughs> of course. Almost forgot who it was we were going to be seeing out here. First things first. Very good. Now, Kyrie, what exactly... What are we doing? Oh my. Huh. They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. <laughs> I do love the Kyrie themed chocobo. That is. Can't be too mad about that. Um. Kyrie, are you here? Might as well interact with whatever this is. Huh. Or do we interact with you or... Huh. I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe just investigating the area. She's probably higher up. Kyrie! It's very festive, but, um... What are we here? Uh, mega potions? Absolutely, yes. Thank you. And... Sure. But, um... Oh, you're over there. Okay, great. I'm just gonna... What is all this? Greetings. Please explain. Kyrie, <laughs> Merc of Junon. And you are. Oh, man. Here I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Basically. Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> what? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Yes, but he doesn't like hey, to hear it. You know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama. Brad, don't bite her too hard. Uh, yikes. Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. 
I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. <laughs> well, you're drawing in customers. Pretty good, right? Folks will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. You got a deal. Pass. Cloud, shut up. Aww. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Yeah, now we have a prize to win. Aerith, come on. We're gonna win some stuffies. Hey, y'all clear out. Sorry, nothing personal. It's just a job. Plushies are on the line. You understand. Catch on fire. Red, these are on the ground and fire vulnerable. Like, you can actually do something in this particular occasion. So... Get in there. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, there's more. There are quite a lot of them, aren't there? Very good, thank you. Stop casting ice at me. Let's do this. Let's see. Fire. Deal with that. Very good. Mess him up, Red. And fire. There you go. Goodness, they keep coming. I did too. There we go. Boy, they keep coming. With me. Need to be using more of these synergy skill things on a regular basis. <laughs> With the echo, it sounds like it's just me hearing her voice in my head, constantly taunting me. Sorry, but I gotta. Uh sure. Get him! Good times. Fire! Can you take over over. Trying. With me. Lend me your strength. Do it. Oh, that's a big one. Come on. Charge up, charge up, charge up. Go. We should probably assess these. Cloud. Best do it right. They seem mean. With no weaknesses. Hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them, but also cause them to develop a resistance and begin absorbing that element. Once they gather enough energy, they unleash a powerful magic attack. Oh, so we gotta mix it up. That's interesting. Okay. Neat. Come here. So, let's see. I'll throw some fire at you. And Aerith, you could... Wait, while, uh... <laughs> we really should get something on Aerith there to heal her. In the meantime, Red, do Blood Fang on this. All comes down to this. Looking real good, buddy. Yeah, we do, Aerith. And by we, I mean you. Healing wind, go. Let the winds caress you. Whew. You've got this. 
I got this. That's a relief. Keep it together. In need of my aid. Yeah, hit him with I don't know, bio. I don't feel like we've used that at all. Keep it together. I'm coming. And Aerith, you can use strong spells also. This one. Very good. Staggered. Keep it going. Boy, it's very resistant. Let's use Ascension. Sure. Kill the thing. Gotta give it my all. There you go. Don't. Who did you eat? Hey, you ate red. Spit that out. That's my teammate. I need it. Um. Huh. What to use? Why don't you lead the way? I got this. You'll be blown away. Go. Strong fire spell. Deal with that. Red, get out of there. Beautiful. Okay. Hit it with all the things. Red, do you have any kind of spell we can cast at it? More fire. We've kind of already thrown a lot of fire at it, but it seems to be the one thing it's weak to. Well, magic seems to be the only thing it's weak to. There we go. Glad that's over. And now I know why I wasn't getting any customers. Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Merc. Hey. Okay, that's a good reward, actually. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <sighs> Red. Okay, later! I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work <laughs> on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Why does everyone's Chocobo dress like them? It's great. <laughs> uh. I'm so happy we got Kyrie's chocobo style. We are definitely dressing our bird in that. It is somewhat eye-catching, I guess, to her credit. It just doesn't really read mercenary operation. So much as party city. Oh well. Pretty gorgeous new area. Hey! Heck yeah. Splendid. Cloud, by analyzing the LifeSpring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It can be found within a derelict structure that sits upon the coastline. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do mind your step as you proceed. I'll be careful. Oop. Barrett, you're kind of in the shot. Oh, over there. Okay. Neat. But yeah, what a scenic... Location. All these shipwrecks off the coast really are pretty cool. Where are we headed, anyway? There's various world intel things to be done. 
And I probably should be doing a bunch of that. But I do still have one, like, quest quest. I should be looking into as well. Now we'll get there. First, let's get on the big boat. Both to loot things, but also because I think there's supposed to be a scenic location here. For snaps. Um, here it is. Yeah! There are some good views from here. What's the best one, though? There's like a neat fort up there, kind of built into the side of the uh, mountains. Or like the ruins of one. It was harder to tell what it was from close up. Cool. Yeah. Good old photo mode. <laughs> I do love Cloud actually having a camera he puts in his pocket. Anyway, come on, gang. There's way too much other stuff to be doing. Oop, found another one of these things. Kick! The legend also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. Neat. There you are. I found all three already. Nice. Circle X, X circle. Okay. It is getting harder. Circle, X, X, circle? Eh, feels a little off, but it counts. Glad they're a bit lenient with that one. Hey, three out of three. all the crystals in the Junon region. Thanks to you, Phoenix's flames will no doubt be that much more radiant. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the Divine via the combat simulator. I'll get to it. There's a lot to do out here, Chadley. Here, here. We do this fast. Let's go. Going in. There we go. I knew you had it in you. Way to go. Like I said at the beginning of the week, getting better at this combat system feels very satisfying. Even if it takes a while. getting pretty high up up here. Hey! Goodness, we're like way up here. Top of a mountain little thing. Took a while to reach it. Great views, though.
Yeah. Intel, yes, please. What is it? Junon, the fortress city. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh impregnable fortress on the coast in the heart of their enemy's former territory. Powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor and equipped with a colossal cannon capable of firing as far as Wutai, the stronghold resembles a vast battleship risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junon is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of military personnel. After the war with Wutai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbor and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, defense countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice, transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. That makes a whole lot of sense. The interesting thing is a lot of this world building that they're adding here, a lot of it seems like it probably was something that was considered and, like, intended in the original, even if it wasn't made explicit. City cannon, pointing a very specific direction that can't really, like, aim a whole lot of other places, doesn't make a whole ton of sense unless you consider the fact that it is pointed out in the general direction of Wu Tai. But that whole Wu Tai and war and any of this Republic stuff was something that the original game just did not get into very much. Real neat. Yeah, I really probably better get more of these towers going, huh? Although... I think I see one more thing we should do today. I really ought to do these towers sooner. <laughs> Whatever. It's all getting done either way, right? Hey, Moogles. It's a mobile house, Kubo. Y'all gonna be more cooperative or am I gonna have to wrangle you like last time? I'm guessing the latter. Would you mind rounding up all the mooglets for me? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Mischief level two. <laughs> uh, there's something very funny about that. Okay. All right. Mischievous little thing. Where? I'm chasing you over that way, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Malulu, please. We've had a lot of important stuff to do out here. Malulu, where are you going? Get over there. You're in big... Stop going over here. This is helping no one. Malulu. Oh, I can swim. That helps a little bit, actually. Get in the pen. Go. You get in there right now. All the way. Thank you. Ow. Mosh. Press circle at just the right moment to evade the mischievous attacks. Note that some tricks like bombs and banana peels cannot be dodged. Right. Get over there. You two. Both of you. Go. Hey. Go. No more of this nonsense from you. In the pen. Hey. In the pen. Nope. Nah. Mosh. Don't you dance on me. Get in the pen. Moog. Is this necessary? So slow. Everything's spinning. 
I just realized I have two palms on my head. Probably counting down the number of times I can be hit before I fail the minigame. <laughs> Get inside. Mook. Mook. Don't throw bombs. And stop going in circles. There. Okay. Moki. I've put up with a lot from your friends. Okay. No. Over there. Go on. Don't. Hey. Here you go. There we go. Woo. Thanks so much. It's a good look, Cloud. <laughs> for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. You're welcome. What do you sell? Out of curiosity. Thanks for coming to our Moogle Emporium. Hmm. Still haven't got one of those. Also, precision defense focus material earrings. That's rad. I love that. Uh, but these seem like the most important things. Yes. Got one for Red, and another for Aerith. I feel like Aerith's pulling ahead a little bit here. Let's get one for Red. Gotta find more of those medals. Thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Darn, what a fun game. I'm having a great time with this. It's going to take... A lot of discipline to not play more of this until next recording session. I'll do my very best. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you on Monday for some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And we'll uh, wrap up this outside Junin stuff and make our way topside, both to Yuffie and also to everything to look forward to topside. It's a lot. Anyway, have a good weekend. See you Monday. Bye!